We're in Dennis Dreyer's neighborhood now. It's not your typical neighborhood because, well, it involves a natural area. It includes a natural area and a shared area for the homeowners. You can see some of the homes behind us. Uh, Dennis is a conservationist and he's one of the people, well, he's a steward of this area. Uh, what I love about this particular neighborhood is that you've got prairie behind your homes. Can you kind of explain going from the neighborhood into the shared area into the nature preserve? Uh, sure, this is actually where we're standing right now, part of the Homeowners Association. It's about a 25 acre area that was created as part of what we call a conservation development. So it's commonly owned by the Homeowners Association, but it was intentionally created rather than having big lawns for every house as a common area that would be planted as a prairie with low maintenance and natural habitat and water benefits. So it helps to preserve and buffer the nature preserve behind us, which is a higher quality area that's a true remnant. So this is, used to be literally six or eight years ago, this was corn and soybean, and now it's a restored prairie. It's in the process. Uh -huh. And uh, everybody joins in, and what you've done here in the nature preserve also is remove some of the brush and allowed the natural material to come out, and it's spectacular. Yeah, literally, again, starting in about 2003, um, when we acquired the property, and the property is actually owned by the Boone Creek Watershed Alliance. Mm -hmm. From this point on was literally a wall of brush and invasive trees. Well, we've been following different uh, areas and looking at uh, how people restore and maintain them. What are the greatest challenges in this particular area? I think just basically having the ability to kind of stay with the effort. I think a lot of people, when they think about restoration, they think all that's involved really is clearing the brush, when in reality, there's a lot of follow-up work to maintain that initial good work you've done. Controlling weeds, collecting seeds, spreading the good plants, staying with those invasive species over time. Well, we want to make this accessible to everybody. We, we would like all of our listeners, people who don't border on natural areas, to be able to grow these kinds of plants we see around us. So I'm sending you back to the house, and you can talk to Jennifer Brennan about plants, some of the plants you might find in prairies and sure. in areas like this that you can grow right outside your own home. Sounds good.